You know, I'm going to start out today, I'm going to be hitting three quarter shots, um, you know, until I, I can build into the round a little more. All right, we are joined today by professional golfer Mark Baldwin. Mark, you have like one of the most effortless looking swings that sends it a mile. We've seen you get ball speeds up over 180 today. Um, for those at home, they're always wondering how they can get more distance. And you being such a long hitter, we thought this would be a great opportunity to find out what do you do that helps you hit the ball so far without looking like you're swinging out of your shoes. Because I know you've played in pro-ams. You've played with a lot of amateurs out there where they try so hard to hit the ball hmm. and it just doesn't go anywhere. So what do you do especially that makes it look so effortless to just bomb these things out there? I think for the amateur player, hitting it out of the middle of the face is so important. And what I see when a lot of people really try to crank it up and you know they hear about gathering speed and gaining speed is things the the pieces don't fit together anymore once they start going going at the ball, swinging harder. And so when that happens, when you get out of sync trying to create more speed, a lot, oftentimes you don't hit the center of the face anymore. So just the difference between catching it out of the center of the face uh, and not, you know, obviously like technology helps quite a bit, yep. but um, you know, like my margin for error is pretty much all out of the middle of that face, right? And a and, uh, typical player that I play in a pro-am with would be have a much wider margin, a much wider area that they hit it out of. Mm -hmm. And so the difference between, you know, there and there and there, it's, it's significant um, for somebody with uh, a typical golf course amateur's swing speed. So I think what's important for me is to find the right tempo that puts those pieces together in the right order, especially in the transition, so that I can assure or at least, you know, be pretty confident that I'm going to hit it uh, really close to the center of the face. I mean, that's the, the most simple thing mm -hmm. for you know, a, a player that I play in a pro-am with to, to gain quickly. Well, and, and there's a couple key points there. One, um, you know, talking to you earlier, you mentioned your driver, you know, around 44 inches. And that's what we found in so many of our fittings for you at home is, you know, playing a stock driver that's 45, 45 and a half, we find for most of our students that go through fittings, they really start finding the middle of the face more often when we get them into a 44 inch length driver. Because mm -hmm. to your point, it is so crucial when you're off center, you're losing so much ball speed that swinging hard or whatever you're trying to do um, negates it mm. because you're off center. So that, that's a key point that just finding the middle of the face and, and you know how you get fit for your clubs can help with that, but just swinging with you know in yourself because that was kind of a, a key takeaway you know talking to you about tempo is when you try to find the fairway, you actually choke down, you know you don't do anything drastic, you just mm. choke down, make the club even shorter mm -hmm. to help make sure we find the middle of the face and it actually gets you swinging maybe a little bit shorter and then when I said well what about when you really want to send one and we've talked to you know so many players out there and long drive people and they're always oh I do this different or this different and really you just hit it out there swinging within yourself you mm. don't go oh I do this different or I right. speed up my backswing or you know I really focus on a big turn you go no I just grip it at the end of the club and I just swing within myself mm -hmm. with tempo so tempo is a big thing you keep bringing up um, for you at home, this is huge because so often you're out there swinging as hard as you can. And when you do that, if you don't have a sound swing like you do, um, now you're trying to match up all those pieces you were talking about at a faster rate, which makes it almost impossible to find the middle of the face for them at home. So if they're at home working on tempo, what are some key takeaways when it comes to um, improving their tempo from at home in the living room? in the backyard, what do you do if you feel like you've lost that feeling, so mm. to speak, when it comes to your tempo? Mm. Yeah, I think uh, to, to know what the difference is between when you, you're swinging at a half speed, you know, three quarter speed, full speed, um, is important. And so, you know, it's something where you, you can just get in, in the garage and you can just say, okay, you know, half speed, 60%, I'm gonna go a little, you know, a little further. And find what, where that inflection point is where you go from hitting it into the middle of the face to uh, you know, a wider dispersion pattern across the face. Once you can't consistently hit it in the middle of the face anymore, you probably need to go back to whatever tempo you were swinging at where the ball was consistently coming out of the middle of the face. Mm -hmm. And, and you, know, you can quantify that in 
what we were just, just discussing with a 60% number or 75% number, and that, that may vary some days. You know, you may, you may find the middle of the face at 70%, and then the next day maybe 80%, the day after, you know, it's 60%. And throughout the course of the round, you can often find that maybe you start at a tempo, you know, uh, a, maybe a slower tempo, and you, you gain more confidence as the round picks up, you gain more momentum, and you're able to swing in, you know, in control and catch it where you need to in the middle of the face with a little more speed. Oh, that's perfect. And, and that's not just for, you know, tempo and distance, which we're talking about today, but that's really for most of you at home, that's when you're trying to fix anything within your swing, right? Mm. Like if you're, if you see something out of place, like I saw a video you shot a while back where you're going into a golf tech and you found that your club was getting a little too far out in front of your hands, you're probably not going at your 90, 100% tempo to work on that. You're probably slowing it down to mm. 30, 40% trying to feel that till you trust it and gain confidence and mm. speed it up. So not only tempo works well with finding the middle of the face and, and improving your distance and your contact, but it's so important when you're working on anything within your swing to slow down the tempo till you can trust the move and it feels comfortable and you start hitting the middle of the face because with all the lessons I've given, you see so many students get a drill and then they just start going as fast as they can through mm -hmm. it and getting frustrated. Mm -hmm. um, so that's a, that's a great piece of advice for everyone at home, not just for distance and finding the middle of the face, but really working on anything when it comes to changing any part of your golf game. So that's great stuff right there. So um, if you were, say, I mean, you've been all over <laughs> traveling, right? Um, if you go to a tournament and you're warming up, is this something you feel your tempo's out of whack when you're warming up? Is it when you play a practice round? How does that, how are you aware of that? Because I'd say from working with so many students, just awareness of their golf swing and their tempo is very, very difficult. Mm. Um, how do you start to understand, oh, I'm just, you know, I'm off. Now, I mean, I can guess you can feel you're not hitting the middle of the face, but most amateurs out there, they don't even know where they're hitting it on the face, to be honest. So how can they at home start to understand, man, my, my tempo's off, or maybe I need to slow down. What's a good checkpoint for them? Hmm. Yeah, um, when, I, when I go to the range, typically I'm, I'm starting out very slowly, and I'm you know, working uh, to get faster as the session goes on. And so you know, to spend a little bit more time, uh, maybe just in the early warm-up stages, rather than getting in there, okay, let's make a couple of swings, let's uh, a couple of, you know, full wedges. I mean, I spend a lot of time just hitting little half wedges and just feeling this space right here, you know, and, and once I start to feel the middle of the face, you know, in, in really the most important part of the golf swing, yep. where, where, yep. it makes, where you make contact with the ball, where you bottom out the club, I start to extend that. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and, and there are days when I extend it and it just feels like a you know an, an unfolded lawn chair it's just like all <laughs> over the place right and and then i have to get back to to basics and i just say okay you know i'm going to start out today i'm going to be hitting three quarter shots um you know until i i can build into the round a little more um but i just think i think to find a great starting point mm -hmm. um is just you know learning th this move right here just little half shots um, and just being in control. Because if you start out of control, it, it's, it's much easier to get longer, uh, I think, than it is to you know, start out long and then start tightening it down as the round um, you know, goes on. You get adrenaline and the stakes yep. increase. Yeah. So a, a great drill for you at home with what he's talking about is swinging in that area to get you started. Especially, you can do this with your driver, would be to set up a gate about about as wide as the club head, not much, much wider than that at home. And you can just start this in your yard, but set up there and just start with chipping motions. If you want to go ahead and give that a try, but just start with some chipping motions, trying to swing through that gate at home with the longest club in the bag to get more comfortable with it and narrow that gate and build that swing up bigger and bigger like he was talking about where as you get through that gate with your driver doing a chipping motion, build it into what feels like a 70% swing into a 100% swing. This is going to help you be more aware of your tempo. It's going to help you find the middle of the face. You can do this at the range if you have a launch monitor. But this is a great way to start working on feeling your tempo and finding the middle of the club face. Let's send one out there and right. just, just see how far we can launch this thing. All right, you got it.
That was well, crushed. It's pretty long, maybe left rough, maybe. but playable. It's most likely in between the tree line if it's a dog leg left. Yeah, 345, that was mashed. 182 ball speed. That was awesome. Nice work. Thank you. Thank Hope you, you enjoyed. Thank you.